cool the microphone's on. Stay here with some people. I didn't know what to do today, you know, Friday. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go to art and improvise. <laughs> so, I, I think that we need to get back into this. Because, you know, as I said before, it's, it's fun to have something to do. And also, Ark is actually one of my favorite games. Like, even if I may be pretty doubtful in some cases, because, you know, I've played it so much over the course of, like, three... Maybe two and a half years, on and off. No, I'm pretty sure my playing time is well over, like, you know, some people like to brag, like, oh, yeah, you got 300 hours plus. Like, no, nah, I, I probably got that times 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe more, I don't know. I just know that when I was in the phase of playing this game on the old channel, like before I even met my girlfriend too, uh, you know, because all I wanted to do was just play ARK, uh, pretty much. Uh, I would get up at 5 a.m., I would force myself, just like I used to do my MMO game when I was a kid, uh, get up at 5 before work, 2 hours, 3 hours of free time, eat breakfast real quick, I would hop on, do whatever I need to do, repair my base, prepare for PvP, you know, fix anything, uh, defend my base if I need to, and then when I come back home, I would eat dinner while I'm showering, I still kind of do that, but I kind of don't, because, you know, I'm much more relaxed now, you know, so, like, if whatever damages are done, it's like, okay, I'll just fight when I get on. <laughs> I've, uh, I've calmed down over the course of a year. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I remember staying up to about 1, maybe 2 a.m. Most of the time I go to bed at midnight. Yeah. But I think on a regular day now, like I had a past nap at 11, maybe even 10. Sometimes even 9. And I think the other day it was like 7 p.m. on a work night. I think that was like Tuesday, maybe Wednesday this week. Because I remember waking up and it was like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I was like, alright, I guess I'll go back to sleep. You know, because it's almost time for work, so I'd rather just lay down and do nothing. So, laid down, woke up an hour, cat started meowing, and I was like, alright, alright, I'll get up. It's almost like he knows. And he's like, hey man, you should probably wake up now. You know, don't mess up your schedule. It's like, yeah, I agree. People say that animals aren't that smart, but this little guy, he's, he's coming out right now. You probably hear some talking about him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? My best friend. Yep. I think... Yeah. I think I said I didn't have any uh, base yet, so my... Yeah. My deciding thing was, alright, I'm gonna go and tent this area. You know, built up a good bit. Uh, get ready. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Also, damn, I'm not getting any notifications. I'm so used to coming home, my girlfriend going, Hey, let's hang out. Hey, let's watch a show. Hey, you want to play Fall Fantasy? And now it's just nothing. <laughs> not that I mind, but I just felt like the, the weekend would have been a time of, Oh, hey, let's do a bunch of things together. Oh well. Right now she's uh, she she likes to story role play, and I'm not into that. So it's just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna go do my own thing. Whatever you do, that it's like okay. Yeah. Most of that role play is like her being a fighter, and going into an arena, and then pre pretending to do combinations depending on what you roll. It's like if you roll higher than the other person, it means that your combo wins. So if you go, oh, uh, someone so does a headbutt, roll of 844. When someone goes, I do a drop kick and dodge every attack you do within the next five minutes. And then they roll like 20 compared to the 844. You know, yeah, my, my girlfriend will win that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of simple though like you know I'm not in the role play really but I can kind of understand it 
And it's like, all right, you know, you get you get the higher score, you win. You know, it's definitely video game inspired. So it makes sense that the gamers came up with this kind of role play. It's almost like playing a card game, but vocally, or well, through text as well. I would much prefer to involve voice chat, though. Like, I couldn't just sit there and just type everything the whole time. No, I, if, I, if I was into it, I would probably hop my voice chat and be like, Yes, I am Ian. Hail Kingder. Uh, hail the king from the 45th dimension of the Hoinoi. Now, I would have to come up with my own little, little skit. see so if I go down too far and up in the swamp if I stay low I can fight things kind of normally and then there's a shit ton of other people now I thought the server was quiet <laughs> here I am wanting to like take my time and get better I mean it's nice to have other people it's cool but I don't know I, I think just oh, what the fuck? In my last several times playing I've just been enjoying my solo time a little bit too much yeah, and we did say we like the PvP, so yeah. Most of the time, though, I've gotten into the habit of just wanting and doing only offline. You know, just ain't too bad, but you know, I do miss that thrill of you know just kicking someone's ass or just someone kicking my ass just straight up. You know, not caring who wins, just doing the fight just because we could do it. Yeah. Let's see. There's still no stone. Man, they don't have anything on this biome. Jeez. How am I supposed to get started if I can't even have stone? Do I even have it on me? No. Not even the tiniest bit. But I have an idea. Uh, some of these servers, they like to nerf what you need to make stuff. But it looks like it's still the basics, for the most part. At least it's not Fibercraft, though. But this thing is not crystal, it's wood now. Weird. Let's just make a bow. Um, we don't need structures right now. Uh, hello, we go out and on. <sighs> Oh. Hmm. There. See, let's go put this here. I'm tempted to fight this thing, but it's kind of high level. I don't have a bola. I can probably beat the shit out of the dodo though. What's my melee? 347. Which is a little bit higher. Alright. Managed to be a good time to be in the uh, other biome. Let's see how much health you got. So you got 184. And if it took like 8 hits to even get down to that. Yeah. So I, mu I must do like. Mm, I want to say 20 a hit with the club. This ain't too bad because this means if I get a sword, I'll probably be doing a couple hundred. Yeah. See, now, now I'm starting to wake up a little bit, you know, I'm starting to want to do shit. Just making myself take the first few steps that started up the motivation train. Now the problem is where the fuck to find a stone. And now we have company. Shit. Damn, scorpion. I always want to call them rad scorpions, like a fallout. These ones are different. I think he's coming, right? No? Oh, there he is. Yep. I had a feeling he would have seen me. Asshole. Oh, there's a loot box. Might be some goodies in there. Maybe a weapon. I mean, hell, even if it's like riot chest armor I'm down you know keep me alive a little bit I, I don't I don't know how strong the dinos are uh, I don't even care if I get a fucking pebble 
No, give me, give me, give me a stone. Okay, that's a lot of saddles. <laughs> so, Carno, Parasaur, Ichi, Raptor, Ravager saddle. It's pretty nice. That's actually one of the things we're getting. So, yep, yeah, and they got a Bushberry seed, so I'm guessing that's the currency in this server. Interesting. Alright, now I keep running around. I think there's some kind of predator here. Oh shit, I was right. The fucking croc. I thought it was a Dino for a minute. I'm like, what are you doing here? But nope. If it was a Dino, we'd probably be dead right now. Let's see, what is this thing here? Oh shit, that's a Baryonyx. If I get close to him, we're kind of fucked. Uh, what are we gonna do? Hmm. So, I mean, on land, he won't really mess with us. But if you get too close, though, then he'll do something. And I don't really want to get into a brawl at the moment. Oh, shit! Oh, that's not good move! Where's the stones at, man? This whole biome is a wasteland. Is he coming? Also, maybe that was like a horse that I scared or something. That would definitely change things. Damn, usually I would get one stone or something. Shit. I ain't getting nothing. These rocks look like they would be... Oh, Ravagers. That's what I want to tame, but... Mm, I don't have any boas, so I'll go find a mole rat. Let's see. I imagine if they kill that thing... Oh, there's more than one, right? Let's see. Stuff could take a long time to die. Damn. Alright. Huh. Oh shit. What did I stumble across? Hmm. Tribe is easy, 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 easy. I'm guessing if these guys would have turn on a generator with element it probably would have killed me I would have been sitting there trying to be curious and figuring things out again and I would just be shot with turn damn <laughs> I forgot I forgot how brutal PvP was oh that was cool it's like a bunch of blood stalkers in the ceiling but like super versions they should do that in the future they should make a like birth stalkers it would be like a blood stalker but like a huge one and then have them like untamable but like just kind of there in the world just kind of watching so you just see these huge fucking eyes just staring down at you watching they would be badass be like oh shit the ancient ones are observing my behaviors oh my god damn did I just go in a circle like, I feel like I saw that parry, sir, at the beginning of this adventure. And now we're right back where we started. She. Well, I suppose we could take a different route. Let's see more stones. Okay. We could always move the aberration. You know, there's more stuff there. So I think if I get another loot drop, uh, I'm, I'm going that way. Because there, there ain't no stone here, no nothing. It sucks. That's a carcanos. He's fighting something. Still, still no fucking rocks, man. It's stupid. I, I should be able to get something. Hello, bug. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Watch me get like fiber, yep. Yeah, still nothing, damn. Huh, well, that's convenient. Just landing on mushrooms. Eh. I don't even know I can do that. It'd be a good way to hide. Like, standing on the side of a tree. It's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, he's after the bees of Bufo, ain't he? Yeah, that's some very dramatic walking. Gotta be a player, man. Mm. What the fuck? Stupid lag. Lag, I get me kill. I think I gotta turn the Wi Fi off my phone. Did he just, did he just fall off? What the hell? Hey. What? Yeah, that's gotta be a player. The fuck? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's definitely no player. I still don't remember the uh, carcass being that wet. They look like they're uh, a little bit more better animated now. Weird. Or maybe it's just been a while since I played Ark. Yeah, I, I forget for character design is kind of shit, but graphics wise, this game is fucking banging. Like I remember telling people when this game. Like, you know, started coming out. I said, hey, this is how, you know, Elder Scrolls Online should look like. And same deal with Conan. You know, if we, if we have Conan and Ark combined into one game, that'd be fucking dope. Because, I mean, Conan is slowly turning into Ark. So if they can have the same dinosaurs and weird fighting shit and stuff, then, oh, yeah, they can probably... I would probably play that game non-stop. Or if they would do as many maps as this game has. You know, they only have another map, but it's like the same fucking thing. And also more grindy. And if anything, I wanted more challenges and not just, oh, look, now I have to waste more of my schedule to just to get simple materials. You know. Another reason why I want to get out of here and hurry up to go to Aberration because all of these rocks, even though there's hundreds of them, I can't pick up a single one because it's it's part of the ground. It's not lootable. Stupid. Yep. Fuckers. All right. But yeah, we'll keep running around then we might find something. Maybe a loot drop or somebody forgets their base. You know, we also have to see if we can claim dinos if we can the other server that I was previously at, but then gave up at because I didn't feel like grinding through that again. Let's see, so no one's claimed these gas collections. Okay. And it's not traditional aberration so this might be a good place to gather my gas once I get like ingots and all that jazz uh. still no stone fuck more fiber I remember I had a base on that rock at one point. 
forget if I had my buddy with me or not, I don't remember. So I, I think I was trying out different servers, and I just wanted to make a base that was kind of out in the open, but not quite. And then I remember that got raided. <laughs> they, they, they had to offline me though, because even though it was a very small base, I was able to use velos uh, pretty good whenever people showed up. So I would shoot people off their mounts, and they kept leaving them on passive. So I would line up my velos and just shoot them. They had gigas, rock golems, you name it. <laughs> if the rock golem started throwing rocks, I put a metal dinosaur gate, like, haha. And then we kept shooting. And I kept feeding my dinos with the meat of the uh, the things we killed. So I would use an RG to, or snow out to fly over real quick, grab it up, and run back. Yeah. So I'm somewhat decent when it comes to straight up PvP like that. But one thing that messes me up a lot to this day, and I'm sure it'll be a lot worse now since I'm kind of rusty in that type of field, depending on what dino I have. Uh, is when people have a mana and they have a friend that has a snow out. The, the snow out is a freeze effect already and then the mana does like a overtime freeze thing. But one thing I love that can counter that easily is the magma sword. You know, if you charge up that lava you get this shit feeling and you're ready to shoot people off their mountain shit. Like anybody who has a dino that's trying to like freeze you, shoot you down anyway, like, you know, get away from the magma sword. <laughs> that thing will fuck you up. And they can also damage each other, which doesn't really make sense, but yeah, it can happen. But when it comes to wyverns, though, it's a little bit more realistic. If you have a fire wyvern, the fire wyvern cannot damage another fire wyvern. Uh, poison cannot kill a poison, but it can kill the rider that is on the poison wyvern. Uh, if you have a lightning wyvern and you have a lightning wyvern attacking you, you do not get shocked, but your player might. So watch where that lightning goes. Be careful. Yeah, that's about all I have to say on that note. Oh, I'm being sleepy again. <sighs> I think that was since the day I said that I, I went to bed early. You know, it just messed me up. 7 o'clock. Now it's like every 7 o'clock I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> it's crazy. Is that a hole? Or is that a, uh... Oh, okay. It's not the kind of hole I thought it was. Am I stuck? Please tell me I'm not stuck. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't even think I can build any structures, can I? I mean, I can build some boxes, and I got a canoe over here. Ain't too bad. Then we got some hide, so I got some back. Uh, a little better armor. Yep. Alrighty. Hello, dude. Yeah, we're starting to run low on food. Let's get one of those berries on my hot bar. Oh, I'll be honest. I I, I forgot how to how to do it. <laughs> well, oh, right, right, right. I keep thinking of my other games. Oh shit, there's a ravager. No, you did not just fucking see me, bro. You did not just fucking see me. Damn it. Fuck. I didn't mean to fight you now. I'm not ready. Fuck. shit. Okay. Ow. Is it coming? Okay. I think he lost track of me. Cool. But damn, he's fucking close. Alright, let's see if I can't make the bullets. I'm probably missing wood or something. Oh, I need stone. And that's the one thing we don't have. Shit. Uh, at least they made it real easy though. Okay, let's just go this way. Keep watching my back. 
So he might be going up the ramp to try to get to me or sniff me out or something. I don't know. Keep a watch though. Eat them berries. Okay. Let's get moving. I think we would encounter ravagers so soon. I mean, it's nice to that we have one. And we do have a saddle. But, do we have the means to tame one? No. Have I found any stone? No. If I would have made a pickaxe ahead of time and then get here, then I would have been fine. But guess what I did? I didn't do that. I know, it's a, a fucking mission just to get some stone. Shit. Like, uh, if this was aberration, like true aberrant, I would be able to wait for an earthquake, you know, maybe get some stone that way first. I can't take this, I can't take that. Oh shit! Wow. I didn't even think Carnos and Rexes hated each other like that. I thought they were buddies. Comrades in arms and all. Oh shit, I'm lagging now when I'm trying to fight. Or run away. Well, at least I'm back down here, I guess. Unless if that Ravager has buddies, which would suck. Yeah. But for now, we'll stick to the plan, try to find some stone. Or just get the hell out of here, either or. I do want to try to confide myself into staying in this area. So, I mean, it's not that amusing. And most of the time, people, you know, they want to get the wyverns, you know, they're... Other shits. Most people don't care about this biome, you know, unless they're absolutely hunting for where players are. You know, so they might try to track down every player and show their dominance. That's that's what I do usually. I just have fun being the hunter, and like you know, you have to fight them. You can just find out where they live and then come back like 3 a.m. and just wreak havoc. Whoa. Okay, I thought it was a dinosaur for a minute. It's a mushroom. Really detailed, though. Weird looking. Alright. Still looking. I wish they would have a sub map for this area. But they don't. Lots of cool little areas with uh, the leaves, though. Might be able to take advantage of that, though. Like, you know, make a little ceiling base hide in the brush yeah it's good to take advantage of shit like that problem though is once you start building up quite a bit though most people see you or they take a paracer I mean a parasaur and do the player detect or anything else you know they can find you real quick also I usually find carcanos in this water uh, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think I'm still suffering from all the shit I inhaled at work. Right, still no stone. Oh boy. Right, cool though. I can just kind of walk along all that. That was nice. Also, that was weird. So there's some kind of shininess to that, like a uh, player. I thought somebody was sleeping in that for a minute. Oh. <sighs> Charted territory for now. I've traveled everywhere, but I don't remember all this shit. Especially down here, like I, I get lost easy. Like if, if I have the whole thing and traveled, and I'm on a wyvern or maybe a rock drake or something, you know, I, I probably wouldn't get as lost. But here we are, lost. 
Gotta be some rocks here, man. Also, I think these waters have eels in them. Last time I checked. Or maybe... Oh, this is that body of water that doesn't have... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this whole thing. Nothing. Isn't that cool? So like you can kind of sort of have a base in here if you want. Unless if someone else knows about it. Yeah, I mean, you guys know now. You know. But, yeah. Stuff. Problem though is like if you build too far, or if you build something that's kind of shiny, like the text structures, I could see them standing out too much. Yeah. Also, I think up here is like a Carcanos spawn point, but maybe because it's more difficult, you might find the materials that we need to build. Yeah. I almost feel like I'm running a challenge run. Jeez. So, I mean. You got all these rocks, but I can't do anything. And my best bet would be to try to kill stuff and then see if they have pickaxes and hatches on them, but the only way for me to do that would be like if I had bolas and if I had a lot of melee and some pikes. And the only way to get pike is if I have flint. Yep, so I need flint. I got fiber, I got the wood. But I don't have the other items I need. Ah, damn it. Alright. Well, where am I going? Perhaps this is more unknown area. We could go that way, but eh. Let's go this way. Me. I want to follow my instinct. So I might find a teleporty loot drop again, or... I might actually get some stone for once. is fucked up. <laughs> like, I feel like they made these to be grabbed up, but they, they're not. They want to make more mats, but they don't want to fix that, do they? <laughs> Typical. Stamina, triangle, nothing. This is actually making me more sleepy. Like, I just want to survive. I want to, I want to move forward. <laughs> Almost tempted just to kill myself and move to a different area, but it, it seems too easy. Yeah, seems like the cheap way out. And I don't like the. I have a little bit. I have pride in the weird areas in my in my soul. Yeah. 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 And this is one of those moments. Let's see, got some Vegeta personality going on here. And yeah, so this is a tiny little gap. And it almost looks like there's a little something some up there. But I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I think we might just die. I mean we can always get other loot drops. But like this is just annoying. So yeah, I think we're gonna die. Wow. Alright, Lady Luck said, uh-uh. Alright, seeing as that didn't kill me, I can either keep trying or we can keep looking around. Oh, we got some, uh, some of this. Yeah. Might be some of the reason why we, uh, have issues collecting loot. Uh, holy mushroom over there. Looks like they wanted to fulfill their aberration rule. And then went, yep, let's just spam these over here. Fuck it. Yeah. So not used to not dying from that. What is that? What is that thing? What the fuck? Huh? Oh, it's that weird... Sea creature. Hello. Hello, friend. You're weird looking, but cool. I don't interact with them that much, so it's kind of nice to see them. They have a long tail. I think they give you oxygen when you're underwater. It's pretty cool. 
I do. They have little air bubbles. Or maybe like it takes up stamina, but you're able to breathe. I don't know. Alright, so let's try this. These mushrooms don't work. Yeah, there's still nothing. Fuck. And I see a loot drop up here, so if this one's alive, then I'll just go to Aberration if I can. I at least want to have some kind of dino on my side, so, yeah. And I think that after I get to this map and find a good spot to AFK and I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Way too sleepy. Alright, so, did I not have Aberration? Looks like, oh, I was gonna say it looks like two Genesis, but no, they got Ab. Good. It's about to say, but I think they're missing... No, 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 they got scorched. They got, they got every map. Shit. They probably got the center too. Hmm. I mean, they got Volgaro, they got Ragnarok, they got Gen, they got Gen 2. And these guys do a little bit of everything. They, they must be like a good group of friends that are paying for the server. Because if, if everybody pitches him like 10, 15 bucks, you know, which ain't that bad. It's, it's like buying like some food from a store for like a week or two dollar store worth stuff like that let's see please play by the rules fart rules updates and donation discord link da -da 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 -da. so I got a 50-50 going on I might just be for this day though but yeah but in the meantime uh, I guess I'll spawn the usual spot I was gonna go to the portal, but this is usually the area I want to be at anyway. Yeah. The problem is, though, it's dangerous. Sometimes this is a Ravager spawn. And Spina. I mean, I haven't, haven't had a chance to get any weapons yet, so. Yeah. It's, uh rack up that stone a little bit. It's nice to actually pick this up quite frequently now. It's a little refresher after all that bullshit. Alright, let's just get my supplies. We need to pickaxe. Yeah. Let's go put that bad boy right over here. Okay, now I need to go find a piece of stone. I'll do a little bit of that too. And then I can get myself a weapon. I might not be able to win my fight, but I can put up a little bit of a battle. We'll have to test it on that raptor there. Like I said, I may not be the best, but if we can do something, that's better than anything. Let's do that. He's probably going to come after me soon. What? Go here, you fuck. Alright, let's get that bola. I think I might tame the raptor now that I think about it. So, I mean, we got meat. We don't have any prime meat, but we got a good amount of supplies. Kinda. Eh. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh shit, there's a ravager too. Oh fuck. Alright, so we gotta fight both of them then. Okay. Let's get the raptor. But, oh no. <laughs> oh Jesus. No. Why is there so many? No. <laughs> oh, you dicks. Wow. I had all that stuff too. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> eh. Sounds a bitch. Alright, let's go here. Uh, I just want to put my character somewhere. Oh man, that's bright. If I'm getting this bothered from brightness, yeah, I definitely need to go to bed. 
Shit. Yeah. So there should be a uh, little spot with like a healing mushroom. Or maybe I can go to a loot drop. If that even is one. I think it's just that machine thing. Like uh, there's like a light um, deflector for nameless. Or to get rid of radiation or something like that. I forget what their purpose is. Oh. Yeah, thanks for the lag. I'm guessing this is a common occurrence with the server. Touch it by that. That's the, like 30 ping constant. Most of the servers I was in usually have a constant of like 20, maybe even 15. So to have that much from just me being in here probably means like if there's a lot of people it would just get worse. Or maybe somebody in here just has a large enough base. A lot of things might uh, be the reason. And I know that my provider isn't exactly what I hate it's a dead person stuff. That's nice. I'll take that. Nice little starter kit for me. Thank you very much. First, his name was Caven. I guess they died from like a ravage. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I thought it was a basilisk. I was like, no. Like, I don't really care about my loot, but I don't want to die right now. Just want a peaceful day, please. Oh, I thought it was Rapture. Just a parasaur. Yeah. So, yeah, I think if we can get up to this uh, structure, I'll be safe. So I don't really want to be out in the open. Damn, I must have had a scratch in my leg. I'm starting to feel that now. Do all kinds of shit at work and you come back home and you're like, mm -hmm. When did I get a cut here? Why am I in pain? <laughs> How come when I touch this part of my body I started feeling like I was going to die? It's not that bad, but it's just fun to exaggerate. Did I just mess it? I, I did. Damn it. Went in a straight circle. Stupid. My bad. Because I'm tired. Oh my god. Come on, sleepy Ian. Get up there. Learn from your lessons. And then we'll carry on uh, the rest of this tomorrow. Or if I happen to wake up sometime tonight because I get enough sleep and go. But yeah, nowhere too close to the light that's too bright for my eyes. Are you? Oh, oh, they do have a claim data. That's nice. So I have a person called Ice. That's interesting. Okay, and let's find a uh, good spot to log. Yeah, that, you know, trying to make it not too obvious that I'm here. That light is kind of giving me away and yeah, we could probably crash in one of these bushes maybe As I'm thinking if I can log out here I probably won't be seen because my body will probably just kind of skidoinky and blend in with this I, I kind of look like I'm part of the uh, the ground so what we'll do is we'll stand here and hopefully my body will fall backwards something like that yeah, so we'll Log out this way. Help that a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope it only. Sorry about that.